or yung path or yung way and makyo is sumida is to be block no okay? to be block ibig sabihin uh, pwedeng traffic or something na may nakaharang sa daan na literal kunyari may naglandslide may nakaharang but here this is from the verb makhida actually yung original verb is makta so makta is to block ikaw yung mismong haharang sa daan or ikaw yung gagawa ng paraan para harangan yung daan Hi guys, so welcome back to Hangi from Ladies Angel. And today guys, uh, tuloy natin yung pagkasagot ng mga EPS topic exam. The actual guys, yung sinasagot natin is isa dun sa mga uh, nakaraang mock test natin. Ito yung set one. Okay? Yung reading. Okay? So this one guys, medyo mga simple muna yung sasagutan natin about mga signs. And kahit simple guys, yung mga tanong, uh, alam natin na halos pare-paresan sila ng punto sa uh, exam. Okay, so kahit mahirap yung isang tanong and madali yung tanong, it doesn't matter kasi pare sila ng puntos. Kaya dapat, hindi tayo magkamali dito sa mga madaling question. Okay, lalo na itong mga science signs na to. Okay, so remember guys, merong tatlong klase ng mga signs. Yung mga prohibition signs, yung warning signs, and then yung mga signs na nagbibigay ng information. So this one guys, yung mga triangle, this is yung mga warning signs or yung mga kumji. Okay, yeah. So, tingnan natin yung tanong. So, ta taong chill mo na tapasip siya. Okay? So, taong is the following. Chill mo na. So, this is question. Okay? Tapasip siya. So, answer the following question. Okay? So, uh, yung pinakatanong natin dito is i pyoji nun musun to shimnika. Okay? i pyoji. This sign, musun what to shimnika. Meaning. So, what is the meaning of this sign? Okay? So, makikita yung sa picture, meron tayong, uh, ano ba tawag? kotse na parang nag-slide. So, uh, yeah. So, this is uh, something na familiar sa atin, lalo na sa mga nag-drive. Okay? Yung mga uh, madudulas na daan. Okay? To be slippery, sl slippery. Okay? So, yeah. So, alin yung tamang sagot dyan? So, number one, tingnan natin, neri makilimida or neri makilimida. Okay? Neri makilimida. Neri makilimida. Okay? So, Ah, uh, this one guys, yung neri. So neri guys is mga something na related sa mga bagay na pababa or uh, movement pababa. Okay? Neri da is to go down and uh, to come down, to climb down. <laughs> Basta pababa. And neri gada, to gada, yung combination ng neri da at kada. Ito talaga pababa na to. Neri kada or neri uda or I mean neri gada pala. Sorry guys. It's neri gada. Dapat i-conjugate mo yung Uh, nerida sa parang present tense form like so neriogada it's pababa and ner neriuda to come down so basta yung mga neri 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 is something na pababa and yung here kill okay neri mak is yes, this may be a one word guys I don't know what's the meaning of mak specifically but yung mak guys sometimes ito yung mga ibang word to yun parang majimak last okay but uh, I think mak here is not related sa uh, last something. Okay? Anyway, yung kill is yung uh, mga daan. Okay? Way or path. No? Pababa. Mga pababang daan. So, this is a downward path or downhill. Okay? Downhill. So, this is a warning na nag-warn na, sa atin na yung na sa harapan natin is pababang daan. So, dapat mag-ingat tayo. But this one is not yung answer natin since uh, usually merong sometimes may mga arrow na pababa or something na magbibigay sa atin ng signs na uh, parang it looks like pababa or to go down, to go down. anyway so yeah so number two is yung the opposite of the number one okay oru oru makirim nida okay oru da guys this one this is an, an irregular verb no this is um uh, uh, to go up kabalitan ng nerida And in present tense, this is ulayo. Okay, ulayo, ulayo. So, hindi pa tayo nagdi-discuss ng mga rule, but, but I think uh, most of you guys, meron na kayong mga, uh, to, mga informations or mga previous information or previous uh, knowledge about mga irregulars. Oh, Ruda, this is real irregular. Okay? Kaya, uh, in present tense, this is ulayo. So, hindi natin muna i-discuss na kung paano nangyayari. Tanggapin na lang muna natin na yung mga ru. So, yung paruda. Remember yung paruda? Palayo. So, dito din ang gaya ng muruda, mulayo. And uruda is ulayo. And ito rin yung pwede mo i-combine to sa mga kada. Ula, gada. It's to go, uh, to go up. 
Ulla Uda is to come uh, uh, come up, okay, to climb up, okay, Uruda. And Uru Makil is yung pataas na daan or, or upward uh, pathway. So this is uphill, okay. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, daan na ma Uh, pupuntahan natin is pwedeng pataas na. So, mag-ingat pa rin tayo. Okay? And, yeah. So, hindi pa rin ito sagot natin. And number three, kiri mikrap sumnida. Okay? Kiri mikrap sumnida. So, kill guys is yung way or path nga. Or road. Okay? And mikrap sumnida, this is from the verb mikrap ta. This is an adjective but in Korean, this is also a descriptive verb. And, kinoconjugate natin yung mga descriptive verb in a way na ikinoconjugate natin yung mga action verb. So, parehas lang sila. But still, may corruption na is to be slippery. Okay, ibig sabihin, ito yung answer natin. Kiri, may corruption And this one is also an irregular verb. So, usually lahat naman, I mean, most na mga piyo, uh, mga verb na tatapos sa pachim na piyo is an irregular. So, usually, pag ikinoconjugate uh, natin to sa mga yo form, idinadrop natin yung piyo and then papalitan natin ng woyo. So, this one, mikoro woyo in present tense, yo form. But here, since ginamit sa sumida, so madali lang sa sumida. Okay? So, tatanggalin lang natin yung verb stem, magiging mikoro. Okay? Then, plus sumida. Okay? Mikoro sumida. Ibig sabihin niyan, kiri. Mikoro sumida is, yeah, yung daan, yung road is uh, slippery madulas. So, this one is the answer. Okay? And number four, kiri makyo is sumida. So, this one, ano naman to guys? Okay, so kill is yung road or yung path or yung way and makyo is sumida is to be black. Okay, to be black. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwedeng traffic or something na may nakaharang sa daan na literal. Kunyari, may naglanslide, may nakaharang. But here, this is from the verb makhida. Actually, yung original verb is makta. So, makta is to black. Ikaw yung mismong haharang sa daan or ikaw yung gagawa ng paraan para harangan yung daan. And makhida is the, I think this is the passive form, no? Makhida is to be uh, black, no? So, pag sinabing kiri makyo is sumnida, na this is, um, parang ito yung ginagamit natin, ano mga Koreans, pag gusto nilang sabihin na may traffic, pag barado yung daan, hindi makagalaw yung sasakyan, so that's why yung meaning is to be traffic. And sometimes, instead of kiri, ginagamit nila yung chaga, Chaga uh, makyo isum nila. No, chaga makyo soyo. Okay? It was traffic. Okay? So, yeah. So, answer here, guys, is number three. Kiri mikrop sum nila. Okay? So, next, guys, we have question number 12. So, taong sol mga man nun, pyoji nun, mo usim nika. So, ganun pa rin. This is about signs. So, kanina, guys, about warning. Okay? Uh, we know warning tayo sa pwedeng uh, paparating na uh, daan pag nagdadrives tayo or sa mga pwede nating puntahan na uh, pwede tayong madiskrasya. So, this one, guys, is about uh, ano naman to? Prohibition. So, pinagbabawal. It's not allowed. Okay? Yung mga signs na nagsasabi sa atin na huwag natin gawin yung isang bagay. Okay? So, yeah. So, taong sol pa yung manon, pyojinon, muusim ni ka. So, taong sol pa yung So, the following taong and sol pa yung, guys, is uh, sometimes explanation. So, meron tayong verb na sol pa yung hada to explain and sometimes sol pa yung means uh, description. Okay? So, taong sol mo ngayon, man nun pyoji nun. Man nun pyoji. Yung tamang signs. Mushim ni ka. What? Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-description, guys. Okay? So, babasahin natin yan. And uh, with this description, hahanapin natin yung pinaka-tamang sign. Depende sa kung anong meaning nung nasa box na to. Okay? So, i sane drogaji masip siya. Okay? So, i sane Now, this Mountain. Sun is mountain. And durugada, this one, yung verb natin, uh, that is to enter. Okay, to enter. And duro gaji masipsi. So, duro hajima. So, hajima. So, remember this uh, ending. Hajima. So, yeah. so, this is something na nagsasabi sa atin na huwag natin gawin. So, perfect for pro prohibition. So, duro gaji masipsi. And this masipsi, guys, this is just the same with uh, maseyo. So, haji maseyo, mokji maseyo, teji maseyo. Okay? So, di, so this masipsi is a common sa ginagamit sa mga written form. Okay? So, yeah. So, tingnan natin. So, tingnan, napakadali lang ng question na to kasi dito sa word na san. Okay? So, kahit hindi natin alam yung mga tawag dyan, but this san, 
sun or yung mountain, ito yun na yung nagbigay ng clue para ma answer this one. Okay? So, ito, hindi naman ito mukhang uh, sun. Ito, hindi rin siya mukhang sun. Hindi rin ito mukhang sun. So, this one, ito yung answer. But still, discuss natin, guys. So, we have to know the meaning of this signs. Okay? Okay, number one. So, makikita natin, mayroon siyang tent. Okay? So, tent yan, guys. Tent. And tent in Korean is uh, uh, tent to. Okay, kuna English lang siya. Okay, tend to. But also, meron tayong uh, word for, a uh, Korean word for tent, and that is yung chonmak. Okay, chonmak. And uh, pag gusto, uh, sa ibang signs, mababasa natin na yung signs na to, it's uh, yayong kumji. Yayong kumji. Yeah, yayong hada is to uh, to camp, to make a camp somewhere. Okay? And uh, kumji, guys, ang ibig sabihin lang ng kumji is some, ito, yung kaji masip siya. So, same ng meaning yung kumji. Okay? And kumji, yeah, sometimes ginagamit, sa, yeah, sometimes ginagamit din pag nagsasalita, sometimes uh, sa mga written. Okay? So, uh, sane duro ga ji masipsya. Okay? Ito naman, uh, yayong, yayong kumji. Or, yayong, it's to make a camp. Pwede mo sabihin na yayong haji masipsya. Okay? Iguseso. So, at this place, do not come. Okay? Huwag kayong mag-camping sa lugar nito. Or pwede natin sabihin na isane. Isane. So, uh, isane. So, uh, yayong haji masipsiyo. So, pwede natin gamitin ganun. So, this one is wrong. So, this is about camping. Okay? And number two guys, so this is an obvious uh, wrong answer because meron lang nagluluto. Okay? So, let's just use yung sun pa rin. So, sa sun or sa mountain, uh, wag daw tayo magluto. Okay? Isane. So, pwede natin sabihin na yuri haji masipsyo. Yuri haji masipsyo. So, yuri hada is to cook. Okay? And yuri haji maseo is same. So, wag kayong magluto. Yuri haji masipsyo. And uh, here, uh, this one, makikita natin sa mga signs at tawag dito ay chisa kumji. Okay? Chisa kumji. Uh, just to add explanation. <laughs> chisa kumji is, yeah, so do not cook or Cooking is prohibited. So, bawal mag-luto. Uh, And number two, yung answer natin. So, isa ne. Turo gaji masip siya. Okay? So, do not enter or pwede rin sabihin na no entry. So, no entry. So, hindi natin alam kung saan pwede. Basta lang no entry na sign na to. Pwede na andun sa harap ng sana yan o nasa harap ng isang room or something na ipinagbabawal. So, so pwede mo makita yung word na churip kumji. Churip kumji. So, yun na may tawag sa do not enter. And yun last natin. So, this one. So, fish yan guys. Fish. So, ibig sabihin is do not fish. Or, uh, fishing is prohibited. It is not allowed. And fishing is nakshi or nakshi hada. So, we can say nakshi haji masipsyo. So, bawal mangisda dito. Okay? So, yeah. So, answer for this one is this uh, number three. Okay, isa ne, turo, gaji, masipsyo. Okay.